Well, I just got the day's mail and a package has arrived. Let's take a look and see what's inside. That's right, today's review is Red Copper Mug. Interesting, it's stuck to the table as soon as I place it down there. That bodes well for Red Copper Mug. Let's see how the rest of it performs. So the first thing I noticed right out of the gate is that it will stick to the table, but it lifts up easily like this. Now that's pretty cool. That's a very cool feature, I like that. So there's really four claims in the advertising of Red Copper Mug that I'm going to be testing. Number one is that it can keep a liquid hot for six hours, that it can keep ice cubes cold for 12 hours, that it doesn't tip over, and that it has a non-spill lid. Now one of those, the fact that it's not able to be tipped over, I discovered as soon as I took it out of the box because when I set it on the table, I noticed that it didn't tip over. So that feature is actually definitely true. It's kind of a cool feature and it's kind of fun to play with and show people for the first time because it kind of blows their minds. The final claim and one that's very important to some consumers is whether or not the lid is actually spill proof. Easy to test and here's what I found. One of the first claims that I want to test out is how leak proof the lid is because that can be a deal breaker for some people. So let's see how leak proof this lid really is. I mean, so far, it, it looks pretty leak-proof to me. Nothing's coming out. So, definitely passes the leak-proof test in my book. I'll keep testing it out, but it seems like it's working pretty well to me. Red Copper Mug was originally marketed as Orgreenic Mug. Now, you might recall the Orgreenic Pan from a few years ago, and that one really is kind of dropped off in advertising, so I guess they decided to rebrand it under the name of something that's a little more current and everybody's jumping on the copper bandwagon so it's now been rebranded to red copper mug it features a ceramic interior which they say will lead to improved taste over stainless steel travel mugs i found that the taste uh, doesn't seem to be affected by being in the red copper mug all day so that claim could be correct Try to try to bump that over. Hmm? Try to bump that over. It's full. You... It's got water. Try try to bump it over. Like just yeah. Now lift it straight up. <laughs> That's cool. So for my first test, I tried putting the hot coffee in the red copper mug, and setting the time lapse for six hours, and here's what happened. I've got my pot of hot coffee. I'm going to pour it in the red copper mug, check the temperature, and then just start the time lapse. All right, so the temperature is about 165. I'm going to put the lid on. I'm going to put it uh, by the time lapse and let it sit six hours and see what the temperature is after six hours. Now we wait. All right, it's been six hours. I've got my thermometer. We're gonna see how much temperature change there's been in the red copper mug. All right, it started at 165, and now we're at 111 after six hours. I wouldn't say it's hot, but it's still warm. If you sit in your car for six hours, 
I mean, it's still going to be warm when you get out, not piping hot. It still tastes pretty fresh, so I give it, I give it pretty good marks for that. So next up was the claim that you could put ice cubes in red copper mug and 12 hours later they'd still be completely frozen with no water. And here's how that turned out. For my next test, I have a red copper mug filled with ice. In the commercial it says that it can last 12 hours without the ice melting, which is probably not unreasonable for just ice without water in it. But I'm going to see if it lives up to that claim in the test by checking it 12 hours later. It is currently 8 p.m. I'll check it again at 8 a.m. tomorrow morning. Right? All right. 12 hours, we're going to try it. All right, it's been almost exactly 12 hours. So I'm going to try out my red copper mug. Now in the commercial, they show the mug being dumped down on the counter with ice. So I'm going to try, try to duplicate that and see if there's any water included because the commercial did not have water. So let's see how that goes. Well, well, maybe the advertising was a little bit exaggerated because there is some water in there, but most of it is still ice. So, you know, I think for 12 hours, that's not too bad. Something occurred to me later about that ice cube test. In the television commercial, when they dump it out on the counter, all the ice cubes are separate. But when I did the test, they all came out in a single cylindrical clump. Makes me kind of wonder about their test. Uh, one thing that I'm sure a lot of consumers are interested about is how much the red copper mug holds. It's something that the advertising, the website, and even the instructions and packaging don't mention. So let's take a look and find out. 16 ounces, 4 ounces, and it's right to the top, 20 ounces it is. I've got my red copper mug in the car with a hot beverage inside. Let's check the temperature before I hit the road and we'll see what it is. Oh, you can see it's steaming. All right, so it's about 180 degrees. I'm going to be out for a while. I'll be taking drinks of it while I'm out. And we'll see how, after a couple of hours on the road, it actually works. All right, we're at the two hour mark. I'm gonna see how hot the liquid is now. Okay. All right, so it's about 153, so it's gone down a little bit, but it's still nice and warm after a couple hours. I'm gonna be out for a while longer. We're gonna see how it goes. And let's see how the temperature looks. So about three and a half hours, uh, the temperature is 138 degrees. It's pretty nice and warm. I feel a little bit of warmth when I hold it up here. Not too, not too unbearable, but the rest of it feels cool. So I think that that does a pretty good job keeping the liquid warm in the car on my uh, field test. In the end, I actually like red copper mug. As long as your expectations are realistic about how much a travel mug can actually do. It's actually pretty cool. The taste is not affected by the interior. The lid doesn't spill. And it has that cool non-tip feature. So for me, I like Red Copper Mug. If you've used Red Copper Mug, tell me what you think about it in the comments below. And if you like this video, please subscribe so I can continue to bring you as seen on TV product reviews in the future. Until next time, this is James White with Freakin' Reviews. Thank you.